Howdy folks, it's Meandering Mike in the Man Cave of Madness. It is in the middle of the mid-late morning. Uh, so this is kind of a strange unboxing. Uh, I have some boxes here that I found in a box of clothing that I was going to be giving away that I had packed away a while during our move last year. And I was just now getting around to going to sort them out to give them away. And I found in the bottom of the box, these other boxes, and I looked in one of them, and it was miniatures. So I was like, oh, goodness, how did those get in there? I obviously wasn't meaning to give those away. So I'm going to go ahead and peek what's in there. So uh, this is from 2020, November. This one is, it says, expected delivery date, uh, October 20th. It doesn't say the year, but it's, it's going to be the same, the same time period, uh, November 13th, 2020. So... Things from Troll and, Toad and, Troll and Toad and some online sellers that I buy from on uh, eBay and stuff for miniatures. So let's dig into it and see what we got here. Uh, this is the one that I peeked into because the top was open and there was some kind of like ogre type miniatures or something like that. Some I'm not sure if those are ogres or... Let's see here. Move this aside again so we have a little plainer background. Does zooming in help? Oh yeah, that does. So, <laughs> look at the colorful flowers down there on the basing. Uh, the skin coloration, greenish and brownish. I did not paint these. These are something that I bought, already painted. These were from Tracy Autry. If you go to um, RPG Auctions Group on Facebook, he sells a lot of uh, already painted miniatures, things that I don't know where he gets them all, but oftentimes he'll rebase things, like he'll take Hero Clicks type miniatures and rebase them and things like that. So uh, these look like the same dudes. No, 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 look at that. That loin, those loincloths are different. This one guy dangles down, and this one dangles to his right. Uh, he looks a little bigger, and there's another one here. Again, yeah, sorry for the, the flowering is kind of interesting. The different arm poses. So I have no clue. They're like on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, those those th these look like rebased dudes. Uh, the way these holes are here, like he drilled some holes and something that was I don't know <laughs> what what they were for. But, uh, what are these? Uh, these are, what are those from the Dark Crystal? Skeezix? No, Skeezix. <laughs> Skaven or Skeezix or Skeksis? Skeksis, the Skeksis. Now, I'm used to them being more in color, so these are black with just a, oh, they actually say something here. Skittering Smeech. These are Skittering Smeeches. But those look like they're the, Skeksis from the Dark Crystal. You know, the thing with the Jim Henson big, big puppet stuff. So these, I would I would repaint. I would touch these up and do something with these. The little guys are nice. So that was the first box. I don't even remember. <laughs> I, I bought a lot of things from this dude, Tracy Autry, and I would often get... Uh, you know, uh, save up two or three lots and then have them ship them all at, at the same time. And so again, yeah, if you, if you buy, like to buy strange oddball miniatures, let's see if I put them there way in the background, you can sort of see them while I look at the, let's look at the smaller box here. This is from uh, Troll and Toad. Uh, that's not, that's upside down. All right. Oh, 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 I recognize these things. Oh, that bent sword. I'm going to zoom out a little bit for a second. Uh, these are from Paizo. I can't remember the set. It should say. The Reclamation guys. Reclamation Cavalry. No, it doesn't say this. Oh, COF, COF. Mm -hmm. Castle of something. Chaos of something. Uh, there's these uh, Reclamation Knights and Squires. Woo. And then the cavalry is like a rare, and so and then there's there's a, like a flying horseman or something like that, but they've all got the nice same red and white uniform. Uh, and so I've been 
over the years grabbing these, wanting to use these for Dungeons and Dragons, actually, was my original intention. Oh, okay, so there's the... This is just plain infantry. The squire, I think, uh, if I remember, is like actually a woman um, and has a, a slight color deviation. I think her helmet's blue or her shield's blue or something. Or maybe she's got a, a you know, like the, so this is the basic white and red colors, but she had something blue on her. I can't remember. So infantry, knight, cavalry. I do not have one of the flying dudes. I didn't really care. I was like, nah, these guys are supposed to be like normal humans in, in my event. Oh, wait, there's something more. <laughs> yeah, another one, another knight. Somewhere I've got like probably five or six of the squires. That reclamation knight is a twenty. This is for noble knight games. <laughs> Their price, which I would have. I only buy for noble knight games when I have a coupon. I save up, make sure I have one hundred and fifty dollars in my cart or more to get free shipping, and I make sure I have a coupon code to get ten percent off. Uh, 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 uh. Interesting. He obviously wouldn't. Oh, a knight, a little knight would fit in there. Twenty, but there's no way I would have paid twenty dollars for a knight. Really, twenty dollars for just one of these knights? Nah. I hope I didn't spend that much. Ah, I wonder if that was in there. Well, actually, no, because they bought this was in from Tro uh, Tro Troll and Toad, so someone else had spent that much. I have no idea what they're going for these days, but uh, I wouldn't mind having one more of these. I know this is my only one of this. I probably have things at least two different places else besides this for this line of dudes somewhere. And that's something I'm hoping to do sometime in the remaining of this year is get more organized. All right, this last one. <laughs> Mike A, that's me. Mike A9. I'm not sure what that means. This was from Michael Denton, Deaton, which was also a seller of goods on the RPG auction Facebook group. Uh, no, that's up this way. Um, I bought from him. <laughs> Tape. <laughs> oh, okay. This guy. Oops, it's upside down. Uh, so, yeah, some of these older Dungeons & Dragons sets came with these cards. There's ones that are in black. Some of them have uh, like a brownish red color. Those are always look nice. This is a Nothic. This is um, something that made its way into <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition in the Lost Minds of Fandelver. Um, and of course, I changed them around a little bit when I ran that campaign. Uh, my wife and sister and friend we're playing and we never finished cuz uh, the pandemic hit and uh we we had been we had been playing online with my sister and my friend and my wife and I were together in the room but um I just I just didn't have the the, the desire to play so I have not played since uh the pandemic hit so anyway there is the actual Nothic which they never got to see. <laughs> he was talking in their brain and some weird stuff happened and there was a whole side quest of stuff that I added to that adventure where there was a bunch of the not not were rats but there was uh they were they were rat folk ratkin that I took from another game and there was a whole cult of these ghoul like guys from from Paizo that were actually half helping them and had secret agendas and stuff and and the the uh the ghoul dudes ended up moving into that secret base uh in Fandelver there they made a trade and anyway you don't want to hear about that <laughs> what else is in here all right oh <laughs> that's it there's one mini these are uh these are like packing things in part of like um I think it was widescreen TV or something. Some of them, they have these little things. They have styrofoam, but there's some of the little boards. I don't know. 
So I saved those just for <laughs> use for spacers or whatever. So that was my weird old unboxing here, folks. Um, like things <laughs> at the end of the move, we were like stuffing things into whatever to get the last bits out. And so these strange boxes of minis that I had purchased, uh, again, so like, you know, pre-painted mini from Dungeons and Dragons, some of these reclamation dudes from Paizo, pre-painted, um, infantry knights, cavalry, uh, I, I know, I, ha I have more of these infantry and squires, because they're like the common ones, um, and then these, I just, I just don't even remember these really, this is probably something that uh, <laughs> towards the end that I got, uh, most of the stuff that I bought from Tracy Autry was like, uh, you know, m metal 25 millimeter dudes. Um, I would like to get things like, you know, Egyptians and villagers and, you know, all sorts of, uh, strange stuff to use for kind of flavor of the background of a, of a campaign. And they weren't specifically like Dungeons and Dragons monsters and stuff, but this is from, uh, What's that game? Ooh, I can't even read that. Can you read that? You could probably read that in the camera, but can I read that in the camera? My eyesight's so bad. In the... Something blade? Droth blade? Drawn blade? It's from Wizards with these square bases. I thought it was like an Arkham Horror type thing or one of those, but anyway, mandering like a mandering on, well, at least it's under 12 minutes. Uh, so this is my strange unboxing of, of minis. Um, thank God I didn't give that whole box away. Just like, here, take this box of clothing. And <laughs> cause like this one, I mean, there's no way I spent $20 on a night. So that was what someone else paid at some time. But, uh, this I could have easily paid 24 cause these, I don't know what the price is going for currently, but. This one and the flying one. Anyway, I'm going to sign off now. All you folks, take care. And remember, if you take care of your minis and you don't lose them under a box of clothes that you're going to give away to the goodwill, your minis will take care of you. So take care and ciao.